Hey guys, super quick video, you can call it guide, you can call it whatever, about dragon riding in Dragonflight, World of Warcraft, or World of Warcraft Dragonflight. Um, I think three things are important for some people at the moment. We talk super quick about how you can change the appearance of your dragon. We talk about the skill tree for dragon riding. And then, yeah, what is for some people annoying is how to ride a dragon and for flying forever, fly forever. I guess that's good good explanation how to fly forever because uh, I guess everybody struggled maybe at the start about how to fly for more than a few seconds or something like this um, maybe you already figured it out then this video will maybe not help you that much but right now let us start super quick um, you have to go or let me show to you here here is the dragon thing it's called sky top observatory you go here to this platform and here you can change the appearance of your dragon there are actually some really cool things that you can maybe later on do you see here this transformation but also especially the skin colors that you can change what makes it awesome skin can you you change a little bit the pattern of the pattern the, the different horns is possible horn color possible horn style possible and also here, even more things, look, the tail is possible that you look at this, a lot of different things. It's pretty nice what Blizzard here, body armor, look at this, the teeth, look at this, you can change how it looks, sharky, like a bird. The hat, look at this, very nice, very nice. We will here see a lot of different things. Let's then later on, if you can get, give him hair, I don't know, let, can we show that? Uh, not at sure. I did not want it to. Uh, where was it? Pressed. Nah, we cannot choose it. I think that would be cool to see. Eye color, stuff like this, glow, yeah, a lot of things you can change here. This is how my dragon looks actually. Um, for sure, I'm just level 64, I have not a lot of things here done, but okay, this is where you uh, can change the appearance of your dragon, make it look cool, or however you like it, and now I show you the dragon skill tree i mean is straightforward because you see mostly you can just go down if you see it like here uh, here's the first thing that you have to decide something your wigo is increased to four okay that's the first thing everybody has to take it here you have to decide i decided for this you will see in a second why because for me that's the most important thing at the start to fly forever but you can already fly forever at this at the start without uh, needing this definitely and yeah these skill points you can find it all over the map first one is here that you collect you can see it directly here a second one is here on the top of the of the tower and then they are all around the map mostly they are kind of high so it's better that you search on high points for them as far as i can see but as you saw i also only have four points collected why? Because I really did not care about it, to be honest. Um, dragon riding is working for me. I'm, I'm, I'm fine with it. So I like it. It's a cool, it's a very cool gimmick, in my opinion. Um, so definitely a nice thing from Blizzard. Uh, I hope they transfer it into new expansions or new phases and make it different and maybe not only available here in this world. Because um, what does it help for it? helps that you're not being afk when you ride the, the, the mount the flying mount usually you know maybe just a bad example but it, um yeah in the new worlds when you where you could fly or also here in the old worlds maybe you were going for i don't know for the onyxia mount you were flying from okrima to their afk you just pressed forward uh, pressed your auto run uh, bu uh, button and then let's go 
So, okay, we double jump. We use this here, the Skyward Essence. That's the important thing that we need uh, for flying. So it's usually on the two. For me, it's an S uh, Shift Q. That's is for getting up. And then you see, you need a speed. It's refilling pretty fast with the skill point that I choose. And always, then you press up again. And then you go like this. It's a little bit you have to go down. Not per you see, it's it's nearly not. Camera up. Look at this. Look at this. It's pretty cool. I don't even use the other two points, as you can see at the moment. It's regenerating pretty, pretty fast. So, yeah, you have no problem to save your points if you would need it. Usually, you, I would say you need like two points to fly in the air. Properly, maybe if you really start from zero. I mean, I started not very high, but also not like low. Oh, here you can see there's the point. Let us collect it. Nice. I just press. Uh, first, you have to press it two times, the space bar, to get it up. But then, after you are uh, already in the air, you only need to hold it. Bring the camera up, bring it again on the normal position. A little bit down, like I said, I cannot really tell you in how many degrees. It's like, uh, like very less, as you can see. You know you have the speed when you are shimmering a little bit blue to refill. You see, I even get more than I than I than than I need. Just let us fly a little bit over the map. I'm not sure I'm flying now, well, I guess, like since two or three minutes, you see, without any problems. Especially with this refill thing. Let us go a little bit up. Maybe there's something interesting on this, on this mountain. Yeah, I already can see here something. You see life we collect these things here a little bit it is a fun mechanic uh the dragon riding i really really like it um again what is important i mean the first point is definitely important that you have here four vigor points they are called um this is definitely a, a important and this first point that you collect as far as i know is the uh skyward es ascent that's the one that we that, that i use here to get a Drake up and flying here all the time. Pretty cool. Uh, that's what you need. I never use this search forward. That's completely bait in my opinion. I see no reason how, why to use it. Maybe later on in these races. I don't know. Maybe it has there some benefits. But uh, besides that, I really see no benefits in using that. See, sometimes you lose the speed. Um, maybe because I don't do it completely now, super concentrated on that. Uh, because when you know how to do it, then there is no, then you are not really scared to lose, to lose the flight speed, um, to lose all the points. Because as you can see, it's regenerating so fast. It's ten seconds with the talent that I chose here. Um, Trill chase. A trill of skies generates one week every ten seconds because that's usually this. While during riding at high speeds, you generate one week every fifteen seconds. Now for me it's even every 10 seconds, so that's pretty, pretty awesome. You also have no problem to get to get high to get some height if you need it. Let us see if we can collect something else. Or do I have enough points to get something else? As you can see, really, if you if you know what you're doing, and really, I I press the I I press the space bar, go a little bit up, and then directly go in the normal position. Press the space bar. 
Press the space bar. I hold it, I hold it. I don't press it double. Double you only have to press it when you start the first time. And it's fun. It's fun. If you know how to do it, hey man, it's 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 a lot of fun here. I mean, the bad thing is you cannot be any more RFK, AFK uh, when you when you fly around. The good thing is you are so much faster. I mean, look at the map. How is this is is running? Oh, nice. Next one. Okay, let us choose your one. It doesn't matter a lot. Like I said, for me this is important than, than this. This is this is what I what I uh, can tell you. Otherwise, just go for it how, how you know, how you want, and also then later on, you know, um, that's a little bit lame that you still can see this one like when you already collected them. I mean, okay, maybe to show people where they are. But yeah. Okay, guys, I guess that shows you. <laughs> it's enough material to show you how easy it is when you know how to do it. Uh, it took me a little bit to figure it out for sure. But right now, you see no problem anymore. Big distances. You can go high if you want. And it's just a lot of fun. You see how fast it's generating. Usually 15 seconds, that's also completely fine. But with 10 seconds, even much better because you really don't have to worry anymore about it, the regeneration. As you can see, you can even go a little bit high, fly a little bit high and then go with in this normal. Ah, it was a little bit too late, as you can see. I would say it's like maybe one and a half seconds. And then you have to go again into this position. You see, I'm nearly straight, a little bit down. Is there another one? I never, I don't even wear here so far. Man, it's just a lot of fun. Awesome. I really love it. That's it, guys. You can create your own dragon, looks pretty cool. You have a skill tree, I mean, not very individual, but still a lot of fun. You see how much distance I, I travel here, it's just awesome. And you know, it's super easy to, to, to fly the dragon. To be honest, you only need a spacebar, two times spacebar pressing to get up. You, you, you get a little bit of height and then find a, find one nice um, degree. That you get that you get the back and then you are usually just hold a little bit of space bar and uh, you hold a little bit of space bar while you go up and then you find again the good degree for the blue shimmering yes also a nice week aura that shows you this the speed and all these things but in my opinion it's not necessary if you anyways work with weak auras then you can do it i think i will get it in the next few days but yeah it's just awesome guys dragon riding have fun into the expansion see you Bye-bye.